Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! So when we left off, we just finished the Spirit Temple. We uh, cleaned up... Uh, now we have all five sages. Hey, Vic, I'm glad I'm entertaining somebody today. I'm gl actually, I'm glad to have everybody here. Let's just, let's not even kid ourselves here. Let's just, I'll throw one of those there for that comment I made. Uh, yeah, so last time we were here, we cleaned up all five sages. And now all we have to do is, we have essentially two parts left that are essential. Get the Master Sword, go beat up our friend Ganondorf. So today my goal is to get the Master Sword. I do feel that we might need to power up a little bit more before we face him. In terms of getting more hearts and try to uh, clear ourselves up a little bit more. But I want to see how long it's going to take for us to... Uh... Don't have the Master Sword Array. Got that before I went to the first table. I love being Ganondorf, only the Smurfs Brothers, really, though. I don't blame you. Like, that guy's a bit of a low tier from what I heard. So you managed to get on top of the... Top of the dragon before the first temple? You Theoretically, you can do it. You basically have to visually wait and see... What, uh... Where she is and try to jump on it. You have to know that it's there. Yeah, I, I hate physics. So that's why I don't bother. All right, so we talked to everybody here. I did do a little bit of exploring off stream just to, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, we had some food to deal with here and... What are we going to do for clothes now? Eh, might as well stay with what we got right now. But if you talk to Hestu, who's just over here, he's going to tell us a little clue about what's going on here. Sensing ominous feelings coming up north in Korok Forest. I hope everyone's okay. Shakalaka. I smell Korok seeds. Unfortunately, I don't have enough Korok seeds to cover anything, so. The one good thing with the thunderstorms last night is I missed the Jericho match. I still want to know why uh, we don't have to deal with the Shockmaster here. Uh, before we head up there, I do want to get one more bit of health. Oh. So we just got to cook up one more meal here. And this one's just going to be a generic meal, so I'm not going to waste too much of my extra stuff. Let's do this. Just because every time I get a hearty truffle, I try to up it one more, so. But all I'm looking to do real... Oh, whoops. Wrong menu, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, what I want to do here is... I just want to get something that I can, you know, like, eat quick and get all my health back up to where it needs to be. 
Perfect. Alright, so now we have that in store. We'll use it in a second here. But we gotta go traveling here, because... So, you'll notice... I have a pin here. It's something important. And there's the, uh, where the master's, that's where the Deku tree normally is. So what I actually want to do is I'll delete this pin. What I'm going to do is just to be safe here. I'm going to put a pin right there. But then we have to get over to said pin. So the nearest place we're going to be able to go is this Rise and Fall Shrine here. Over by the, uh, the nice fairy lady. No, but Jay Quick, you're talking about the Jericho match. Like, honestly, the Shock Mask, there's a reason why they did it the way they did. Where, uh, they basically put, uh, Joe through, uh, Drywall, shock, shock bastard way. But it just looks so stupid, to be perfectly honest. Like, if you haven't heard, uh, Joe is actually going to film season two of What else do I have here? I want to say a little lighter. This will be enough for now. Basically, I'm collecting everything possible just so I can, uh... So I make sure I have enough of everything to go into the, uh... Final boss... Final boss to show up again in Dork. in the middle oh it's just a chest okay gloom chasm there which I think we're gonna need here eventually I love the fact that I just have a random mech following me around here now That's a second tree now. Jesus, you guys. I know there's a certain way you could do this game with only a vegan diet. And I do I do find that as a real cool fact that they were able to do.
Okay, as we get in here, see there's a real fog in here. Lost Woods is where we gotta go, but... Oh! What do you gotta say? So bad, real bad, the Lost Woods just aren't right anymore. No matter which way I enter, the fog comes and gets me. Then I'm right back at the beginning. I can't return to the corner of fog like this. I wanna go home. I did hear a big hole opened up in Minchie Woods. Kinda scary. So what do you gotta say, bud? What's all these weird vibes? Oh, you're an adventurer too? You feel the vibes? The strange vibes in the air around here? The vibes, I mean the fog in the forest up ahead. The forest ahead is the Lost Woods. It's always been pretty weird. If you got lost, you wind up back at the entrance. But now the fog's gotten even thicker. Take two steps in the forest and it'll spit right back out. Not too long ago, you could at least walk into the woods, but now you can't progress at all. Well, just said it again, so I guess uh, we'll have to take the little buddy's advice here and head back out. And this is what I was talking about pitting that little spot there because that'd make a lot of sense here. If I do this, I can mark all the enemy, uh... I don't need to deal with you guys right now. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Went for a walk and now I can't get back to the Korok Forest. All my friends and I would walk and jump into this weird hole. Say we might be able to go back to the forest through the hole, but do you think it's safe? Of course it's not safe. That's where that blight bloom seed I put down worked. So that worked pretty good. All right, so where I want to go is where that pin is. Oh, here we are. Looking for the path that leads to Korok Forest. Koroks are already turned to the Korok Forest, but found a weird hole, so we climbed into it. Anyway, Korok is in that direction. The other Koroks went that way. Oh well, good, so follow the Koroks, in other words. <laughs> For the most part, I expect a pretty clear path through this whole thing. I love the music, though.
So we're gonna collect these pose, which are gonna help us with some potions later. Muddle buds, always good. So if you're not familiar with muddle buds, they're the ones that uh, screw everybody up, confuse them. I guess I could not worry, possibly not worry about it and just uh, take the mech around with me, but. That's the lost frog. There. The frog up on the ceiling, you see that? That identifies a lost fog that hides the croc forest. Oh, I thought it said frog, not fog. Whoops. I know the forest is just above the fog. I just knew it. Yeah, that isn't scary at all. Come on over here. Oh, Glue Man, shit! I didn't realize they were Glue Man's, fuck! Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, we survived it. All right, I know I'm gonna have to deal with those eventually, but for right now... There was probably another way to get up there, but... At least going up this, if, I, if this isn't the actual one I need to get to, I think, which I think it is. At least this pathway will, uh... Oh no, that's not the pathway I need. That's, that's the one I need to get up here. Let's open up some light here. Because there's more than one way to skin a cat to get into an area. Heal up. That's all you're giving me? Good. Clean that up. Let's talk to these little guys. I can't figure it out. I made it this far, but it seems like there's no way up from here. If you could jump super high straight up, you'd be in the Kroark Forest, but then there's the ceiling. It seems impossible. Nothing's impossible for me! Nope. Do you think these are some of the great Deku Tree's roots? Oh. I mean, Korok City is directly above us, but how do we get up there? Maybe the great Deku Tree could suck me straight through its roots. Isn't that silly? No, I think you possibly could get through it in a game like this, but... I want- I just want to see where... That's that pile of gloom where those hands were, so let's just not even... I don't even want to fight with it, so let's just... Cheese this out and get up there. We will heal ourselves up and then I will go into panic mode momentarily. Bit of a climb. Is he gonna kick us out? No! The Korok Forest. So quiet. Mm. Deku Tree, great spirit of the Korok Forest. It's our old buddy! You don't look so good. Oh, wow, you're talkative. You're talkative. I don't want to sneak too far away from this shrine, because if I do...
Atomic Taco 99, welcome to the player's pit. Always a pleasure seeing everyone come in. Enjoy the food, enjoy the company, watch out for the punch, because I think we got a guy named McG who spiked it here. So, welcome, we are here on day 20 of, uh, of our Zelda playthrough here. I think it's part 33 on the, uh, on the YouTube channel, somewhere in there. I broke down some of the larger days into two parts. Swing to hit. Oh, goody. Baseball. Baseball. How's it holding up compared to Breath of the Wild? I think it's a whole different ball game. I really do enjoy uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Personally, I know a lot of people don't. I think they are essentially two different games, right? I think it's the best way to explain it. They are two different games. I will say that I am getting a little tired at times. Just to talk, just heading to work. All right. I understand my friend. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, Keep cracking it. All right, you take care. At the end of this, I will do a summarization of what I think about uh, the game as a whole. I think there's supposed to be a different way you're able to do this, but... There we go. Now I'm sure there's a way we could get that. Uh, oh, I, I get it. We can get up there and get there. And... Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. It ain't worth it. But yeah, at the end of this, I think I will do a uh, review of what I think of all these. Uh, Between, between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, there are some differences 
that I like and some that I dislike for each one. I, I will say for Tears of the Kingdom, and you guys have noticed this, I've actually brought it up. I think there's a lot more grinding than there needs to be in this game. Like for all the shrines and whatnot that you have to go through and... My personal opinion, I'll just sum it up really quick here. My personal opinion, the depths should be uh, the DLC of the game. Set it up as a Koga's challenge or something, but having to do this, like, like really you don't have a whole lot of work to do in the depths. The only things you have to do down here or down there, because obviously we're not up there anymore. Um, we're looking at uh, having to get to the fire temple. Having to get to the Deku tree, of course, here. And if you want to upgrade your battery at all, you have to go down the depths. Other than that, you really could skip out on it for the most part. I have. You guys are so chatty, it's scary, you know that? Not a guy is saying a word. Now I can tell why. I don't want to start breaking stuff here. Don't chat shame us? Hey, no, not at all. No intentions of that whatsoever. It's more the fact that I just can't stand the uh, whole uh, the whole grind part of it in many ways. No, no, it's just there, I, I like doing a lot of this stuff off stream because, well, okay, that's gonna be a problem. I I got a feeling I know what's down there. I just want to make sure I know what what I have. Do I have enough to beat this guy? That's the question. Did I just miss the bomb flowers that I have? Link lover, one, two, three, four. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Great having you here. I'm I'm just checking for bombs right now. I don't see any bomb flowers. Like what? I thought I had some. Maybe I just missed it when I was looking, but Oh, I got 27. I should be at plenty. All right. And then for arrows, whoops. 149 we're doing good all right so let's let's equip an arrow that it's not completely destroyed armor Just looking for something that's a little more... I think what I got right now is pretty much... It's leveled up enough. So I guess I'll use that. 
All right, chat. I did look into this a little bit here as to what we're going to have to face. And these guys scare the living... Oh, what? Why do we have a prey thing here? Oh. I forgot we have one of these here, but we only have two, so it won't matter. I wish that she had the ability to send pr send good wishes anyway. All right, here goes nothing. That's what I was hoping for. Oh god, now we got the fun part. Ah, dang it. Dang it, the second one hits. I gotta remember that. All right, I was not stupid. Do I want to use one of those or use the extra heart right now? I still got time. I'm not going to risk it now. Let's... That's what the Iron Shroom's for. I'm still good. Thank you. Took a little bit of time there, but we got her. Bye bye, Phantom Ganon. It only took us one meal, so now with everybody around, we should be doing a little bit easier here. Makes me feel a little bit more confident about how we can, uh, ooh, talk about a cleanup job. Hey, 
there, little buddies. You did it. Thank you very, thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The great Deku tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. So is he going to make a zoom out? Nope. Good. Any surprises here? Nope. So I'm going to check and see if we have anything special coming up. So best way to do that. So I'm assuming that takes us all the way up here. Yep. You're a little scared. It's just lost once we're able to make it back. Korok Forest is so peaceful, huh? By the way, have you seen a Korok named Okai? Oh. You don't even know who Okai is, huh? Wonder where he went. Maybe he's hiding under the great, great Deku tree's mouth. If I don't know where the mouth is, it's right above the spore store. Oh. Naval, and this is my shop I had to relocate recently. You see, this big hole opened up right where the sports store used to be. Yeah. So I grabbed my stuff and moved the shop. It's a little cramped, but we're making it work. Ah. Actually, I do want to rest. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to morning. So it doesn't give us any bonus hearts, but at least it'll regenerate. There we go. Come back and catch some Z's soon, okay? All right, so this is a free one. I like that. It's still fuzzy. You're hang on. What are you doing here? I remember it happened so suddenly. The great Deku tree was in agony, and a forest came out of its mouth. Then a bunch of Korok started acting funny. Next thing you know, monsters show up. I fought them all by myself, knocking them out one by one. I'm sorry I lied. I actually couldn't remember. I couldn't move and don't remember what happened. It was all so sudden. I don't know if any of the other remember either. Thanks to you, Mr. Hero. Everybody's normal and safe. Yay. If you climb up the route behind me, you can talk to him. You're the one who saved the great Deku Tree's life. So please go say hello. Oh yeah, also, some of the Koroks could use your help. You should probably talk to the great De Deku Tree first, then, may then maybe you can help out. Follow the lights in the forest. If you do, you come across Koroks who could use your help. Please go find them and see what they need. No, they want me to talk to him right here.
No words. All right, time for some lore. Ah, so it is you. Must apologize, I'm still quite groggy as though I'm awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. And yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. Sometimes since we last spoke. Have you been well? Mm, yes, last time we spoke, that was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the master sword. Video time! It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. Deku Tree, thank you so much. <laughs> there is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. <laughs> it can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. The master sword. Dun, da, da, da. So that's the first video of the game, I guess. But the sword... It would seem you no longer wield it. Where is it gone? What is this then? You do not know where the Master Sword is? No, that's why we came to see you! I see, yet I can sense it even now. There can be no mistake. It's here. So it's running around the sky right now. It's moving. Hmm. Feel the presence strongly in this area. But what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely the master sword is awaiting for you, just as you are seeking it. Trail the master sword complete. Recovering the master sword. The dark ceiling sword, the master sword vanished the temple of time on the great sky island. The Deku tree can feel the sword's presence. It says the master sword is moving. What could that mean? I think we all know what it means. Deku Tree's profile's been added. Not very nice. I actually didn't check any of these yet, so... I think we got almost everybody involved. Yeah, we got everybody. Unless there's somebody new to join. Okay, so we got every video except the last one. We got one video to go, and I know where we're going to find it. So let's go find us a princess. Well, a dragon.
So basically the way to do it is just fly over. Best way to tackle a dragon? There she is. There's a reason why I'm planning to land back here. I want some dragon scale. Shard of light dragon scale spike. Oh, it doesn't give me any extra. Oh, there's some more. So I'll just gradually get him as we move up. Okay. These scales are worth it, so that's why I don't want to miss any. Oh my god, what do we got shining here? Uh-oh, here we go. Well, Zelda don't want to give that up, so... So... As I was told, I do believe we need two stamina bars for this, so we're we're a quarter safe right now. Come on, baby. You know you don't want it in there. We're, we're just helping you out here. We're just trying to help you. We're just trying to help you. Let's get that sword off of you. Come on, Link. She's not crying no more. Going up nice and high. Come on, Link. Oh, that's why. She got her hair tangled in it. There we go. Let's get rid of that hair. Need to give it a little haircut.
Do 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 do. It's the music. Doesn't work great with the helmet, right? We have the Zelda sword! Link. Link. The master sword. Your sword. She is the key to destroying the demon king. He defeated her before, but a long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King... You will have my strength to help you through her. Oh, this is awesome. You are our final hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. This sword reaches you in the future. And that's the moment she turned into a dragon. Thunder, thunder, thundercats, ho! Oh! Sorry, had to. Just a pose. Watch it, it says you have too many equip too many uh, items. Must remove. Thanks for the lift! The legendary sword that seals the darkness, its corruption was healed by its time with the light dragon. The blade gleams with a secret luster that can oppose the demon king. Alright, we got the sword. So what do we got left here in terms of missions? And there it is. That's the last story. Zelda's Wish. So missions now. There literally is not another mission left. There's the side ones. We got tons of side ones coming up here, so... What I think we should do right now... Because, yeah, there's literally only one thing left to do. And that's take out Ganon at this point, or Ganondorf at this point. Go talk to Pura. And basically right now, it's just grinding up to see if you are good enough to take out... Take out Ganon. Take out the beast. Take out... Take out the big guy. Usually when in doubt, we go talk to Pora and she usually directs us exactly what Lean's left to do. Anyway, so this is really wonderful news. The Sage of Spirit of Longfire is now here to help. That means you're well supported against the Demon King. What? The Master Store was restored, you said? When were you planning on telling me? Found the head of a white dragon of all places? That's hard to believe. However, hmm. this is Princess Zelda's wish. She, 
One she believed it so strongly she gave her life for it, for us. Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, <laughs> you really don't look quite yourself unless you got the Master Sword by your side. True. Check it. Now that it seems you have all you need, you're prepared to face your, our enemy. Mm. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. Seems unlikely to be in Hyrule Castle. Can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean... Huh? That's it, the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a depths probability, high probabilities in the depths? Mm -hmm. Do what you think best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Josha for any info we may have. She's enthusiastic about finding anything in the depths, so she'd be happy to help yeah. out. Link, the rest is up to you. Told you we get our new mission just from there. So let's go talk to Josha. <laughs> Did the deaths of the Yiga Clan going well? I'm hard at work too. But I still don't have anything new aside from what I told you about the statues. Seem to lead southwest. What about them? Yeah. You know the chasm of the forest, the tribe south of Hyrule Field? Well, another series of statues is discovered at the bottom of it. These statues are different than the ones you show me in the camera. You see the point somewhere near where you got your auto build ability. Um. <laughs> oh. So basically she has nothing for me. <laughs> 